on the 93X Half-Ass Morning Show. It's 8-14 Wednesday. Nick, Josh, and Ali here and joining us in studio again. Did it on Monday, did it on Tuesday, do it again today and tomorrow. Some more contestants for this year's Ultimate X-Girl. Please welcome, both from Roseville. Is that right? Casey and Kashmir. Good morning. Good morning. Jeez. <laughs> Pretty ladies, yeah, my you're goodness. Not kidding. Now, was this a situation where uh, do you know each other? We do. Yeah, okay. we've been best friends for about 12 years. No kidding. Yeah. You know everything about each other at We bet. do. This has happened before, right, Josh? <laughs> we've had girls who uh, are friends who enter the contest. Was it was it a deal where you'll I'll do it if you do it kind of a thing? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Would there be any hard feelings between the two of you if one of you won? Oh, definitely not. No. No. I'm no. Casey's number one fan. She's my number one fan. Yes. This is a this is adorable. <laughs> it's super cute. They're the female version of me and Josh. That's right. <laughs> Neither we one just... of us are gonna win a beauty contest, but no. we we cheer for each other in other aspects of life. I gotta say, yes, you girls are, are better looking than your photos, and your photos are fantastic. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, well, thank you. in person, much better looking. <laughs> I would agree. I would agree. The photos are great, but in person, I mean, it's... you can't. Yeah, if you don't, you can check out 93x.com to see who we're talking about. All the girls are up there. You can vote for your favorite. Absolutely. Keep an eye on 93x.com when you're ready to vote, or just take a look at the pics. Twelve years, best friends, huh? Yes. Mm-hmm. Great, uh, junior high, grade school, the whole works. We yep. met at horse camp. <laughs> horse camp? Yes, we did. <laughs> at, uh, Are you still? like, nine years old? Uh, no, no really? wait, 12, 12. 11, something like that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Are you both still into equestrian activities? Cashmere is. I Cashmere. am. Yeah. yeah. Me, not so much. Do you ever compete, or, or how I serious did you get into it? I wish. It? No, no. I just ride for fun. Do you, have a, do you have your own horse? I don't, know, but I have a friend that I go out riding with at least hopefully once a week if the weather permits. Gotcha. <laughs> so, Kashmir, if you were to win this $5,000, would you purchase your own horse maybe, or do you have that slated for something else? Oh, I definitely already have a savings account ready for a horse. <laughs> okay, so you, may, you would use that for a horse? I think so, or fake boobs. One of the two. Or fake boobs. Horse Talk. or fake boobs. We hear, we hear that a lot in this well, contest. Well, I, I, a fake rack is usually around five grand, isn't it? Well, it's, yeah. yeah, six grand, depending. How much yeah. is how much is a damn horse? Well, you can get horses pretty cheap. It's just like the boarding and the care. Yeah, I that's hear you. Pretty expensive. Because you could get a horse for around a thousand bucks or less, couldn't you? Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, see now you've been friends for so long. Let's start with Casey. Casey, what is uh, an embarrassing moment from Kashmir's life that you'd like to tell us about? Oh no. <laughs> Maybe even a secret. A secret about cashmere. Or you know what, oh embarrassing moment, or do your best maybe, to do do your best to embarrass your friend here. Or real maybe quick. there's like a. Uh, oh, they're going behind oh, the scenes. Okay. They're talking about whether or not they're they should doing bring their up. Best friend whisper. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here's a good one. Okay, Casey. Why did I tell you she that had one? to remind me. What about cashmere? Uh, well, cashmere found the movie striptease in. Uh, when, gosh, how old were we? Like 14? It was like at my house or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But anyways, she watched it. Like that was the only movie she would watch for like two years. <laughs> Seriously? She was like Demi Moore. stripping in my basement. Demi Moore and Burt Reynolds. <laughs> that movie was awful. Yeah. Yeah. But as she a, loved it. So Cashmere Casey as a... had to hide the movie from me. I did. As a 14-year-old girl, you had like an obsession with that movie? Oh, I loved it. I don't remember much about the movie except for that Demi Moore was just bouncing all over the joint. Right. Beautiful, <laughs> definitely. Interesting. Now, Cashmere, you can out Casey on something if you like. Oh, play fair. I don't know. This is gonna be a hard one. Casey's pretty much perfect all the time. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> We're working on breaking up this friendship. Come on. <laughs> something about Casey that would be a little embarrassing. While we're waiting, Kashmir. What? Do you dance or have you danced no. because you were into that? No. no. Do you have any desire to? No, it was more of a phase. Gotcha. Were your, were your, uh, were your parent? Did your parents become aware of this movie that you were infatuated with, and did they have concerns that you were 14 and watching this a story about it? Definitely not. That's why it was at Casey's house. Okay. Casey's parents knew. If My mother you, would sit and talk to me about it. If you think of an embarrassing. <laughs> If you think of an embarrassing Casey story, feel free, Cashmere, because, you know, we, we want to make things even. Uh, someone texted me right from the get-go. 
Oh, they're, they're sharing stories back and forth. Did you come up I with one? one? Go I ahead. I got one. So Casey and a couple of friends of ours, but Casey was definitely the ringleader in this one, <laughs> all got a starfish tattoo matching on their ass butts. <laughs> on their ass butts. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I the best part your... is, is that it, it's got a pink mustache. <laughs> a starfish with a pink mustache is tattooed on your ass, Casey? Her ass Yes, butt. and I'm glad that everyone knows that. <laughs> well, that's unbelievable. <laughs> why? Why? What's the significance behind that? Uh, there may have been a little bit of alcohol involved. Sure. <laughs> Was it a spring break thing? or? Uh, no, we were just at the beach, and then uh, we were all kind of going off to college, and we were like, oh, we just we wanted to... Bond. How big of a... How why, big? why a starfish with a mustache? You know... It just looks silly. I don't drunk. know. Because, <laughs> yep, pretty much. How big is it? Your ass. I'm kidding. <laughs> how big is the tattoo? Like a dime, a quarter uh, bigger? It's little. Why like you a 50 Casey? cent piece. Cashmere, Cashmere would like you to show us. <laughs> Cashmere. Jeez, look you at her. You guys want to see it? I'd love to. Like for real, for real? Sure, why not? If you're willing to show it. She's pulling down her pants. Oh, on her, okay. Yeah, on her left ass cheek. Yep. That's about the there size of it. Is. Oh, wait. Gotta do it again. There it is. Yeah. There, my goodness. Oh, there's a, they're even taking photos of it for the yeah. Brotherhood. Very nice. Just ignore Ross. Yeah, it, lo it, lo it looks all right to me. It's pretty It's bad. very sexy. <laughs> and thank you for being so uh, comfortable around us to pull your left ass cheek out. You're welcome. Cashmere, some people were texting. Well, people have been texting about you all day, uh, both of you, saying, don't forget to ask him about this. Don't forget to ask. Someone says, Cashmere, your uh, grandparents run a, a bar in St. Paul or something like that? Oh, yeah, they do. Uh, Brady's. Yeah? In Little Canada. Did you grow up walking in and out of the joint? Oh, definitely. Uh, that yeah. must have been kind of fun. Yeah. I don't know if you heard of the hideaway. Yes, yes, of course. That, they used to own that as well. That was the one I went to the most as a child. Cool. <laughs> Until the girl got chopped up. But I don't know if you heard the girls <laughs> er earlier on this Until week. The girl got chopped what? up. A girl you didn't hear about that? No. That doesn't ring a bell. Uh, yeah, someone got murdered. Some girl went home <laughs> with a guy. Jesus. And he chopped her up and hid her pieces around the cities, and one of her pieces was found at the bar. No <laughs> effing is that, way. Is that bad for business? <laughs> No effing <laughs> way. They, uh, yeah, they went. They changed their name to Empty Pockets, and yeah. That all that ri shortly. all that rings a bell. I, I just never. I don't heard remember that at all, and I, I guess I didn't even hear you say that at first. Good chop-up story. Wow. wow. Well, I, I was going to talk about turn-ons, and now I. <laughs> No, no. I think enough time has gone by. We've paid our respects. All right. Good. I know yeah, what, yeah. May I'm, she rest in peace. Yes, may she rest. I know what question you're going to ask, and I'm very interested in an answer. Well, this is what I wanted to ask, because I don't know if you've listened earlier on this week to the other X-Girl contestants, but all of them surprised us with their turn-ons, and it was that basically they're into normal guys. I mean, for girls who are above average looking, we expected them to be in perfection, like myself or, or Nick, but instead, just the average dudes... <laughs> Is what they seem to be into. One girl was into beer bellies. Another girl <laughs> didn't at all like uh, muscular stomachs. No, no. And I see there's one on your list, Kashmir, that may may surprise some people, maybe not. Uh, a turn on of yours? Do you know which one I'm referring to? No. The, no that idea. you like guys not just older than you, but a lot older than you. Yeah, you're 21, right? I Well, no, I turned 22. 22. Yep. Okay. My cards lie. So how much older are we talking if you like guys who are older dot, 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 by a lot? <laughs> um, I'd say definitely over 30. Okay. That's the small, that's the lowest I'll go. What's really? the highest you like think the... you'd go? Would you date somebody in their 50s? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Depends how much money they have. Oh, oh. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Now, is, is that what it's about? I love, I love the honesty. Yeah, I think, no. is, is, it, is it about a guy who has a steady income? Did you get burned out on, you know, 21-year-old dudes who still live in their parents' basement kind of a thing? Or did, was this, you're always interested in older guys. You know what? I've been in love from, I don't even know since when, with John Travolta. Love him. Oh, yeah. is that to right? this day, I will still marry John Travolta. You I think he did you kind see? of broke my old man. Virginity. I got gotcha. you. Right? <laughs> Even when he took his shirt off in Pulp Fiction? Oh, come on. That was great. I, I love the movie. So you've never seen Battlefield Earth? <laughs> <laughs> no, I well, haven't. All right. You like John Travolta. Love him. And uh, one of Casey's turn-ons is um, Bad Boys. Now, how yeah. bad are we talking? Like uh, <laughs> convicted criminals? How bad are we talking, Casey? Not convicted criminals. Just uh, <laughs> no. give us an explanation. Uh, 
Be more clear on what you mean by bad boy. Um, I don't know. I like guys that have a little bit more of a wild side. A little bit of an edge? A little bit of an edge. I got gotcha. Too wild. Yeah. I don't want anybody who's on probation. <laughs> <laughs> but close to. I hear you. We're yeah. reading some of th- we're reading through some of these cards yesterday. Me and Nick were, uh, he was playing his drums and, and me and my guitar. Right. I remember that very uh, well. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. what were some of your other turn ons? I forget. Oh, for Casey? For yeah. Casey. Turn ons, Casey? Musicians. Do you- yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. What a coincidence. <gasps> so, uh, guys, what, what are you doing? Right. <laughs> and good style, which we obviously, Josh, <laughs> we're out. Nail on a daily basis. Uh, boy, you girls are hitting it out of the park today, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Casey, what about you as far as the five grand? If you won Ultimate X Girl, what would you do with that kind of bread ski? As far as the five grand, uh, I know Cashmere was kidding earlier, but I think I would actually <laughs> probably get some new boobs. New really? boobs. I think you, yeah, boobs. <laughs> Interesting. You don't like the ones that you're hauling around now? Good. They look pretty good from yeah, here. Yeah. Cool pretty t-shirt good. too. See your Avenged Sevenfold t-shirt, Josh? Yeah, I, I noticed that. I'm a big Avenged Sevenfold fan. Yeah, I love those guys. Outstanding. This has been a true pleasure to talk to Cashmere and Casey. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, thanks for, for coming us. in. And where, where will you be? Where are you yeah. going to be signing your car or handing out your cards and everything? Every time we... Uh, so Nobody far, knows. So I'm far s- this week when we've asked the girls about their bar appearances, they have no effing idea what we're talking oh. about. <laughs> do you know what we're talking... You know you'll be doing these things, right? Oh, we do. Yes. Yeah. We're aware. I'll be out every Saturday. For well, sure. Uh, as I said yesterday and Monday, I'll be at Village Inn Bar. I believe it's what it's called exactly in... White Bear Lake, Saturday night from 10 to midnight. Maybe you'll yep. be there, Casey. Yep, I'll be there. Cashmere? I'll be there, too. We're going to have some effing fun on Saturday night. All go, right. Go to 93x.com, look and vote, and also you can find out where all the girls are going to be in person. Get a chance to meet them. Thank you, girls. Thank, Thank you. you. Casey and Cashmere, outstanding work this morning.